Yeah, look, the time is 23.45 on Tuesday, and I haven't done anything for my video yet. Yay! So I'm going to cheat and use some footage that I took at the weekend, um, and hopefully it'll amuse you. Basically, the reason I've not done anything so far is because I've only just got back from Batsock, which is the Battle Reenactment Society that the um, Birmingham University have, which is where I go. Um, basically, uh, we fight as Vikings, and it's great fun, and we get to hit each other with pointy things, basically. Um, as you can see, this necklace that I've been wearing for as long as I can remember now um, is in the shape of a very stylized raven, and that is because uh, Batsok, by its Viking name, is also Raffenbruder. And just to interrupt me, I've got a message from Dan Sexton. See? Uh, you can't see. But, I'm not lying, I promise. It says, Hey man, do you know if anyone is planning any house parties over Christmas? Um, I will reply to him once I know whether he's invited or not. Sorry, Dan. Um, yes, back on to Battle Reacting Society. Um, basically, it was a craft session tonight, which means I got to make things. Um, I, tonight, made a belt, um, as you can see. It is green, um, with the normal just leather showing through. Um, I had to fit on a buckle at that end, which I've just quickly and rather rubbishly sewn across. Um, and a belt end at that end, which I had to uh, sort of rivet on, which um, took me a little while, but it's okay. And basically this is designed to go round my waist. And... Do -do 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 -do. The uh, buckle is a little bit stiff, unfortunately, because the fit was slightly bad. And then through the belt hole, which I've pierced a few for myself, and then basically that goes nicely there. You tuck it up underneath, and it goes round like that. As you can see, it dangles down from the waist to about, which you can't see, to about my knee. My knee is there. So it's mid-thigh, I guess. Um, yes, so we like to make things at that sock because it's cheaper than buying them from a reenactment fair. Um, in my, one of my early sessions, I made this. It's a leather belt pouch. Um, it's got a strap for going onto your belt. A little toggle. Um, which you can unhook and it opens up just to reveal a nice little holdy place um, because Vikings didn't have pockets so we have to use equipment um, such as the belt pouch to be able to work with. Um, what else have I crafted? This is what I've been working on um, for quite a while now. As you can see it is a red-tailed buzzard and not a chicken. Um, it's embroidery so if you have a look, well, it looks really bad up close. Um, but yes, that is needle and thread, and it's taken absolutely ages to do. Um, and I haven't quite finished. I want to change. I've started the talons in black, but I want to do it in a dark grey instead. And I want to change some of the beak um, because she's really got. It's hard to point. Um, she's got like a little bit of yellow around the beak, but then really the rest of the beak is sort of the same color uh, color as the talons. So dark grey, blue. Um, so yes, that is the extent of my crafting so far. I've also done a bit of stuff like making a tunic um, and an under tunic. So my next step of this evening will be to show you how to dress a viking. Okay, first of all we start with the under tunic. Um, I've already got this on because I'm sure you don't particularly want to see me uh, without it on. Basically it is a white tunic traditionally made of linen um, I've cheated and I've used a cotton based thing because I got given it for free um, and yes it comes to about the knee um, which my chair is in the way just to annoy you um, it comes to about the knee which you can see and yeah it's basically the under layer it's quite nice and comfortable and warm I need to sort the neck out I normally have like a bit of a split which you'll see in the over tunic which is uh, 
not the next piece of quick. Um, first of all, we need some hose. Um, we always need hose. Basically, <laughs> in the Dark Ages, hose were um, like trouser legs, I guess, really. And basically, these go over your leg, which I shall do now, which you can't see. So I shall try to move the camera for you. Um, and fail dramatically. That was the camera falling off the side. Let's see. Dressing a Viking isn't very easy, you know. Right, this may work. So as you can see, I've got jeans on. I wouldn't have jeans, obviously. Um, I'd have under trousers, but we cheat and use pyjamas because they're better. Basically, you can see this bit here goes to be held up by a belt. So you wear two belts. One underneath, which is this one, which is inauthentic, but I don't have two authentic belts, unfortunately. So that goes all the way around. Yeah, but not that far because that failed, and that bit isn't going to be cut because I can't be bothered and I don't have enough time. But if I was editing it properly, I would cut it. Um, then goes the next set of hose. See, with normal trousers, it wouldn't pull them up at the knee, which is really annoying. But as you can see, there's my leg, nice and wrapped up warm in hose. Um, so I shall now apply the belt. The belt goes through these loops, as you can see, and it goes round your waist, as belts do. Ah, the camera's not working for me. Here we go. So it goes round, do the belt up, if I can do it. Just loving the crotch shot at the moment. And there we go, we have hose on my legs. Yay! Um, right, next, I'm going to move the camera back up here. We have the over tunic. And the over tunic is this. It's made of wool. Um, and this isn't too bad quality, actually. I am quite a poor Viking, um, on the whole, because I choose to be. Um, but it's not too bad a quality. The colour's not rich, but um, the wool's quite nice. I know you can't feel through your camera, but uh, have a little feel of that. Go on, it's nice. And as we pull this all the way up so that I can put my head through in one nice easy motion for you, I'll just take off my earpiece. And there's the over tunic. Basically, it functions pretty much the same as the under tunic, um, but it's got nicer fitting to it, I guess, and it's just meant to be posh. Um, with all the tunics, as you can see, they have um, a sort of triangle inserted into it, which you can't really see. Um, but this triangle is just to widen at the bottom. So it's one piece, straight piece all the way down, but it's widened at the bottom, um, which means that I can move about. Um, lighting issues, stupid camera. Um, next up I shall stick on the belt which I showed you earlier because I like it and I haven't worn it yet. Let me just adjust the camera so you can see my belt of amazingness. So this is the belt. Um, and I'll sidestep that way. But before I put the belt on I want my belt pouch. So I'll just thread the belt end through the belt pouch loop and uh, force the belt in through the buckle it will get a better fit as it gets worn I'm sure and that goes on your side really and then as I tighten this up good thing I put three different holes in because I was in the beginning of this video I was on the tightest fitting. Now with an over tunic on, I'm on the middle fitting and I'm sure I want to put a bit of weight on after use the thickest fitting if not even more. So there we go, in my belt pouch I can carry money or modern stuff um, that I can't allow to be seen while I'm doing the reenacting and as you can see it belt end goes down to my knee as I said earlier. Um, needless repetition, FTW. Um, that line going across was just the wire for my 
speaker headset thing, by the way. Okay, I made the video too long, so it's in two parts. Um, click the second part of this to watch the rest of the Viking goodness.